hope she doesn't need those keys. <laughs> so I hope she doesn't need those keys. Are you guys ready to go dark with me? Sure! <laughs> Not dark, heavy. Can oh. we go heavy? Yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I feel like, yeah, maybe. We got the energy. It's good. It's safe, right? <laughs> I like to talk about things that are uncomfortable because they're usually the most important things. Um, I had a long talk with a, a music video director friend of mine, and um, we were talking about post production. And I didn't know that the same way that you can Photoshop a photo, okay. you can video shop an entire video. So if you have a spare forty thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars, and you're uncomfortable with a part of your body, you can have that edited for an entire course of a music video, which I didn't know was very popular, but it's extremely popular. It happens all the time. Um, and I just talked to him afterwards, and he had just someone had just spent forty thousand dollars to have her chin shaved down for the. Uh, part of the music video um, and I started thinking about it in a way of maybe people that don't have positive support systems uh, maybe they're using uh, celebrity culture and music videos as a calibration for what's good and beautiful and if in celebrity culture we're constantly editing an image to create something that's not even real that's fabricated how disconnected are we to our own bodies um, to people's bodies around us um, and I think it's uh, part of a, it's a microcosm of a lot of issues that are happening. <laughs> Thank you, Shushers, you're very effective. <laughs> and I just really appreciate that. Um, but I think, I think that, I think that connection is what's going to save the world. And I think the best way to achieve connection is to be vulnerable. And when we are vulnerable, we're able to match empathy with other people. So if we can be empathetic with each other, we can find connection. And a lot of that actually I find, uh, there's a lot of body issues that kind of get in the way of our actual physical presence. How can we knock some of that stuff down?
hands over your bumpy left body naked. Remember the first time you touched someone with the sole purpose of learning all of them. Touch them because the light was pretty on them and the dust and the sunlight danced the way your heart did. Touch yourself with a purpose. Your body is the most beautiful royal. Fathers and uncles are not claiming your life anymore, are not your razor. Put the sharpness back. Lay your hands flat and feel the surface of scarred skin. I once touched a tree with charred limbs. The stump was still breathing, but the tops were just ashy remains. I wonder what it's like to come back from that, because sometimes I feel forest fires erupting from my wrist, and the smoke signals sent out of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Tree stump with leaves sprouting out. 